Great, let's now focus our attention on a story that has so many of you talking on social media. An Asian lady in Webuye has resolved that neither her parents nor her community will stop her from marrying the love of her life. She has sworn to marry a Bukusu man, defying her culture which forbids them from marrying outside their community. And as Katie and Francis Ontomo reports, the two lovebirds have become quite a sensation in Nangina village of Webuye, Bungoma County. Take a look. Okay, ali ali ingia kazi siku ya kwanza alikuwa ameanza kuosha gari na mimi nikimingilia kuwa how can two people wash one car that was our first conversation alikuwa na washa gari driver alinita tusaidiane kuosha gari confessions of a real love bred in the village a love that has gone against race religion social hierarchy and better still color it is a chilly rainy day here the setting is Nangina village in Webuye. The character's 24-year-old Sarika Patel and the man of the moment, the tall and dark-skinned 25-year-old Timothy Hamala, a palpably shy Bukusu young man that has got everyone talking in the village. I'm in love and I fell in love with a boy called Timothy M. Kamala. I met him when he came to work in my place and we've been in a relation of four years. It's been great living with him. And just like a witchy riddle, theirs has been a thorny journey. In this beat up, dark and poorly lit hut, the two have lit the flames of their love. We arrive moments after Sarika's relatives have just left. Their mission was to pluck out the beauty from the shackles of this homestead. They want her out. But Sarika has adamantly stuck to her guns. The problem is that I'm with an African, not his poverty or anything. But just because he's an African, he's a different color, he's a different culture, that's why they're against this relation. An easygoing Sarika portrays an aura of confidence and buoyancy. She goes about her chores with ease. She is daughter of a wealthy Indian businessman and their meeting was as dramatic four years ago. At the time, Timothy was a casual laborer at Sarika's family business in Webuye. And then slowly, slowly, ni kanza kumfuata, ni kitafuta namba yake, ni kijaribu kuongea na e. Pole pole, tu kanza, tu kengia kwa urafiki, and urafiki ka change kwa mapenzi. She has adopted Timothy's son who calls her mother. And more interesting is her relationship with her mother-in-law, Evelyn Hamala. Ame nipenda, nidikuwa mkonjo wa achabu. Akakuja hospitali. The village is old, and for the Indian in-laws, this man fires an assurance. And as he makes steps into a whole new world filled with challenges, one can only hope someone will allow the flower of love to sprout. It will sound like something drawn from the movies, or better still from the books of fiction, but the love between Sarika and Timothy defies it all. And it's a testament that nothing can come in between two people. Francis Ontomwa, KTN, Nangini Village, Inwebuye.